Hi guys, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this video, I want to kind of go over some of the differences between uh, the softwares that we offer, specifically the workflow software. But before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit about Darkroom Booth. Darkroom Booth is a automated software. So you would uh, touch a screen or a button and start a session. It would capture photos, just like a photo booth would. It's There's not a photographer that actually takes up picture. So a lot of people think that Booth is the beginner software and then you move up. Booth is a separate software from our workflow software. It, uh, they are two different ones. It's, if you think about um, Adobe Illustrator versus Adobe Photoshop, they kind of do similar things, but one works in vector, the other one works in pixels. So um, I don't know if that made it any easier to understand, but Booth is not for photographers. Darkroom Core, Darkroom Pro is for photographers, photo booths versus photographers. So um, the differences between Core, Pro, and we'll get into assembly a little bit. Um, the main difference is Core is a standalone version and Pro can be a standalone version, but it can also be a server and Core could then become clients. So. I typically recommend that you start off with Darkroom Core because usually the only reason you need Pro is because you're adding on another computer and in that case you already have Darkroom Core. Now there are a couple reasons why you might want to look at Pro rather than Core. If you are a, um, a lab, a photo lab, and you're printing to your large uh, Nuritsus or Fuji printers or even Agfa printers, uh, then that's where Darkroom Pro comes in. If we go to our setup tab, we'll see that we have quite a few options here um, that are not available in core. But uh, under our printers, we have Durst printers. There's the DMP. So everything that's in core is also in Pro. But then we also have these giant Noritsu and, uh, and um, Fuji printers. So if that's something that you don't plan on doing or you're not currently doing, and really if you plan on doing it in the future, I would say I would still get Core and then get Pro whenever you're ready to print something like that. Um, so the printer selection, um, this raster image printer, I have a video on that as well. That's a really cool printer or a PDF printer. And then uh, the generic roll printer is also another digital file output um, that's only available in Pro. So uh, we also have our network options and you can see that you can set up Darkroom Pro as a server and then have Core running on another computer and Core might be used for uh, capturing. Let's say we're back in the amusement park, your Pro computer has all your printers plugged in and then you have other computers, let's say even on a wireless network, that are capturing and selling, and uh, they take a picture, they they sell it, and then as you exit, everything's ready to go, already printed and bagged up. Um, so that's where the the networking comes in really handy. Um, but it's important to remember the printers should all be connected to the pro computer. You can't connect printers to the clients. So. Um, there is uh, also one small thing that most people uh, won't be able to take advantage of. You have your com uh, command folder, um, and that's that's pretty much it. That's the difference between Core and Pro um, in what they can do. So you can see that Core does almost everything that Pro does, 99% of it. It's just whenever you're looking to expand, then you have to go to Pro. And you can run multiple core workstations, they just can't share information, so that's where Pro comes in. And then Darkroom Assembly allows you to attach data. So let's say you're photographing a school and they have um, their, their class directory with the kids' names, their ID numbers, and uh, teacher class information. You can import that in and output uh, and process a whole school very easily with 
that CSV file. Now, Darkroom Assembly, we do not sell or support. We do make it, but we do not handle the sales and support for it. That would be um, desktop Darkroom, and that's specifically why you don't ever see me do videos on Assembly. It is a very cool software. It's just complicated, and we let them handle that uh, that aspect of that uh, of Assembly. So I hope that gives a little bit of insight into we have all these different softwares and I didn't even cover hot folder and event gallery. Those are all like other little ones, but this is specifically our workflow software. And um, maybe in the future, I'll try to make a video specifically about booth versus core because that's the biggest question we get. Uh, should I do booth or should I do core? And it's a very simple question. Do you want to push the shutter button? And if you do, core is the way to go. If you uh, you want somebody to interact with the screen, then booth. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. If this video was helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It allows other users to find videos like this and hopefully it makes their lives just a little easier as this has for you. Please consider subscribing or watching one of these other videos that YouTube thinks you might like. I'll see you next time.